What is going on guys? Welcome to the first ever episode of The Pour, where I'm going to be reviewing some beer for you guys, and when all this craziness blows over, visiting some of these breweries and taking you along with me. So first of all, happy Cinco de Mayo. I think it's a very fitting day to start this channel, and I just picked these guys up from Fort Nonsense Brewery off of Route 10 in Denville, New Jersey. This one actually just came out today, so I'm really looking forward to trying that out for you guys. So... Without further ado, let's get at it. All right, guys. Uh, sure, a lot of you can relate to this. I'm rocking a hat right now because I haven't gotten a haircut in like two months, two and a half months. But got to admit, I'm kind of liking the flow right now. But anyway, the first beer we got is called Admiral of the Narrow Seas. It's a Gosa style beer, which I've never had before. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. As you can see, the can labeling. They got a little synopsis on the side, so I'm going to read that real quick. The Sour Gosa has a sharp and tart yet refreshing taste brewed with sea salt and lime. It's like getting slapped with an ocean wave after walking the plank. Best served cold, maritime vessel, optional, but recommended. All right, guys, now the moment of truth. I got my favorite beer drinking glass here, so let's do this. Oh, baby. Yeah, you could smell that lime for sure. All right, guys, here we go. It's a nice light color. This tastes is bad boy. Oh yeah, that's, that's sour. But you can taste the lime, and there's a little bit of saltiness to it. It kind of reminds me a, a little bit of a margarita, and like, Maybe a Corona with lime. I kind of like this. It's a good uh, good little summertime vibe, but it's not too sour. It's just like it has a little bit of lime in the beer. It's not like a, a sour ale, ale or anything where you're just like, <sniffs> you know, but this is good. This is unique. I like this. Great summertime beer for sure. I could see, I could just... I can see why it's Admiral of the Narrow Seas. You can just crack one of these open and kick back on a boat somewhere and just chill out. Cinco de Mayo in a can. You heard it, the thumbnail, it's true. Cinco de Mayo in a can. Find your own beach. Corona, get out of here, bro. This is unique. I've never had something like this before, so I don't know what to rate it, but... I'm gonna say 7.8. 7.8 for this one. I have another one that I got from Fort Nonsense, which I'll be reviewing right now. All right, guys. Sorry about the lighting in the first clip. Uh, I'm new at this, so I'm, so I'm just kind of learning as I go. But anyway, I think I got it better now. So fingers crossed. All right, and on to the next pickup I got from Fort Nonsense. This one is called the Regolith Apogee New England Style IPA. Super dope can. I like it a lot. You can see, uh, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see that the stars reflect. They're reflective. Also a nice cool little touch. They got a little uh, Hops astronaut there. So I'll read this one for you guys too. The word apogee is defined as the point in the orbit of the moon or a satellite at which it is furthest from the earth. So you really get what we mean when we say this New England IPA is out of this world. Apogee is hazy, juicy, and packed with mango citrus notes, brewed with mosaic, azaka, and citra hops, and double dry hopped with mosaic and asaka. Part of our Regolith NEIPA series, Spaceman Improved, Drink Fresh. This is Fort Nonsense Brewing Company, over and out. All right, guys, so this is 6.9%, and like I said, it's a New England style IPA, so... Let's do it. Man. Cans are attacking me today, man. Oh, I cheated right there. But it was in the name of saving my desk and less of a cleanup, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. Alright. 
Look at that. That's a beauty. Definitely look hazy. Nice light color. Time to shine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. You can taste the mango in there. It's not bitter, especially because it's a New England IPA. They tend to be sweeter and less bitter, which I just found out like two days ago. Um, yeah, this is good. I like this a lot. I'm gonna go 8.3, 8.3 on the scale. Guys, I have to come back. I originally gave this an 8.3, but after taking a couple more sips, I'm, I'm bumping this up to an 8.6. 8.6. Um, you know, just like the can, it's like a little rocket ship right now. It's taking me up to the moon. My, my taste buds are in space right now. This is awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please do me a favor, it would help me out so much if you would subscribe and hit that like button. Also comment below any breweries you think I need to check out and do a review from. I would greatly appreciate it. And till next time, guys, peace.